Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show how you can remove an item from a list box ActiveX control by double clicking it. So already here I have a, a workbook that has an ActiveX list box control which was added using insert and then ActiveX controls clicking the list box control and then adding onto the form. But what I'm going to show you is how to make this a little bit more dynamic because here with already in production mode and just having this list box if I double click an item nothing happens. But if you wanted to create an event for your user where if they double click it, an item gets removed, this is the way you would go about doing it. Put yourself into design mode using the developers tab. And we're going to double click this. By default, it's going to take you to listbox1.click. So I'll also do message box <clears throat> test. And then we play that out. That procedure is called when the list box is, is clicked. But what we want to do is work with a double click mode. So back into design mode, I'm going to remove this code right here. But by double clicking the list box, it takes you to the list box controls, the procedures. Right click the procedure. I'm sorry, just single click, but towards your right. And go on and select double click. And here, what we're going to do is do list box one dot remove item. And we're just going to be list box one dot list index. List index is the index that's currently selected. And let's go on and play that out. I'm going to put us into production mode. I'm going to double click on the word air. And that word is removed. If we were to double click the word animal, that word is removed. If you wanted to do the same thing for a combo box, I mean, of course, double clicking the, the item is not going to work. But if you want to remove an item, the code is, is rather the same, but you'll need to have like a command button. And you can right click this, properties, change it to remove item. And you can pretty much use the same code except change list box one to the name of the combo box. This one's combo box one. So it's gonna be combo box one dot remove item combo box one dot list index just want to make sure they're the same take us out of design mode say we wanted to remove the word addition remove item and that word was removed the only thing is, is that the text of the combo box is not changed so what you're gonna have to do is set up the index to go back maybe do index zero you can do that list index as zero but here's the only disadvantage to that if they're removing the word animal and they remove that it's going to take them all the way back to the beginning what you could do to get a little bit more creative is you can get you can assign the current list index combo box one dot list index and what you can do is you can assign this but it would be a minus one So that let's try this code out. So if we were to move the word agreement, it should put us to the word error next. So agreement, remove item, actually put us to advertisement. So forgive me for that minor mistake. Just leave it as A. So if I was to remove the word animal now, it should give us apparatus. Let's try this out. There you go. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. This now concludes it. Thank you for watching.